Well, eastern New Hampshire really getting hit by this one. WMUR Suzanne Rontree headed up Route 16 tonight right into the heaviest part of the storm. Yeah, we uh, got here at around 8 o'clock tonight, and the snow was coming down just about as it is right now, so it's been the last three hours of a really steady snowfall. Now, it took us quite a while to get here from Manchester. It was the snow on the road slowing the speeds. Heading north on snow-covered Route 16 from Dover to Ossipee tonight, we found there were not a lot of people on the roads, but when we did see some, it was like they were traveling in packs to keep safe. Conditions out here tonight are snowy, cold and windy, making the drive a slow one. DOT plows were out trying to keep on top of the storm that isn't ending anytime soon. And private snow removal companies were busy cleaning up. Jason Williams says he's been driving a front loader for 25 years. I just started about 4 o'clock this afternoon, but I'll be out until the storm's over. Uh, probably probably four o'clock tomorrow afternoon in Milton. We caught up with a few locals that found the one store that was open tonight. I'm out to get milk for my baby. I'm just going to going to a friend's watching movies. Nothing else to do and not, like tonight. <laughs> the Circle K was busy with people heading back from a weekend of winter activities. Mostly gas. They're looking for windshield washer fluid. They sold so much windshield fluid they sold out. Further up the road here in Ossipee, Townsend Thorndike was trying to make his way back to Maine, but he faced a few challenges. I've uh, blown uh, my auxiliary fuse probably about six times on the way up. Uh, my windshield wipers have popped off. I've slid off the road a couple of times and uh, hasn't been a very good night. Now, it will be curious to see how this storm does play out. Will this corridor along Route 16 get the as much as 18 inches of snow by the time that this storm ends. Live in Ossipee, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9. Okay, Suzanne, thanks so much. Blustery, blizzard-like on the seacoast. Tonight's dense snow means power concerns out there. And with high tide approaching, a potential for flooding. So WMUR's Tim Callery has been on the coast. He continues our team coverage. He's on Hampton Beach tonight. Tim? Well, Tom, for the majority of this storm, as Haley mentioned, we've really just been dealing with the rain and strong winds, but now the concern shifts to the ocean as high tide now approaches. New Hampshire sea coasters trying to make the best of yet another nor'easter. Tammy Mallett and her husband Bob Wanamaker, along with their four-legged friends Millie and Jackie, headed to the shoreline to capture a glimpse of what this storm is made of. We've got the cross-country skis, snowshoes, snowblower, snow shovels, goggles. We're all set here. <laughs> all you need is the right equipment and you can enjoy it. But it's not all fun and games. A coastal flood watch is in effect until 3 o'clock Monday afternoon. Possible high storm surge and winds reaching 30 to 50 miles per hour, creating a real concern for Hampton's fire chief, who says the first high tide at noon went smoothly with no flooding. But that may be a different story when it returns at midnight. High tide comes in. Uh, they're predicting that the high winds will, will be coming in around that same time, and we're going to be watching for minor coastal flooding at that point. The National Weather Service has updated us onto that. With gripping winds tugging at power lines, the area also susceptible to power outages. Emergency crews asking residents to have extra flashlights on hand and to be prepared should you lose power. Chief Ayotte also asking homeowners to lend a helping hand when it comes to clearing hydrants. We'd like to ask them to adopt a hydrant uh, three feet in all directions, clear out the snow as much as possible, help us help you. Uh, every second counts in, in time of an emergency. And now the chief went on to say that he has beefed up his crew should an emergency arise. He says they will be watching areas that are prone to flooding as high tide rolls in in just about an hour or so. We're live here in Hampton Beach. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.